Hello folks. Yep, this one won't fly, but if you have never had to deal with snow, you may enjoy the change of pace in this video in Sibley's Winter Night Flyer Land. You know, this is my fifth winter here in Sibley, Iowa, after moving here from San Juan Capistrano, Southern California, for almost 45 years. And it's very pleasant to have the change of seasons, although the winter is most challenging. I love the season changes, and so does my wife, who does an amazing job with the garden every year, getting bigger and better with lots of fresh vegetables and tomatoes. You know, but with the territory come several machines that are required. I had to get a weed eater, a rotary mulching lawnmower, a chainsaw, a snow blower, and a lawn tractor. And you've seen my videos for my mods for that. Well, I liked Red and I liked Craftsman, so that's what I went with. Well, Mr. Red, running on Amsoil, has done a fantastic job in the summer, so I decided to put him into winter service. I decided to design and build my own snow plow for it. Well, as I do with all my how-to or inventing videos, I do not ever do any research on my ideas. The reason for that is that I don't want to be influenced, good or bad, by somebody else's designs or opinions. Also, some may say things can't be done, so hence I begin fresh with my own ideas. The only snow blade I ever really saw but never really studied was on the road graders. So here's what I designed with a demonstration of how it works. So get your blankie. This is the hardware I used. The stove bolts were great for the sliders and I gooped them into the bottom of the blade made by two 1x12s laminated together and then reinforced with 2x6s for weight and strength and because it's all I had on hand. Okay, we need to raise it up just a little bit so I'll put this rod on here that I can reach while I'm driving. Raise it up just enough to... I've since changed the position of this push rod so I can step on it with my foot instead of using my hand. Way easier. Okay, this is my initial testing, and I did this to prove the angles and the strength before beefing it up and then painting it. I always was curious and wanted to know if the rotary blades would actually blow the snow. Indeed they do. Here you can see where I put in the floating brace. It supports the bottom of the blade but still allows me to make the blade go up and down. I bolted the front of the frame so it lined up with the bottom of the blade making a good support yet still allows the blade to raise. I drilled a 1 inch hole in the 2x4 and let it slide onto the blade deck support bolt for flexibility. Ok, let's cover it with coil stock metal, paint it, take it out, snow in again, give it a good shot. The 100 mile an hour race tape, uh, aka duct tape, is to prevent the wood from splitting and it all worked. Actually, I could make it all out of metal, but I just used what I had in my garage. After all, it's just a prototype just to see if I could make it work. This is just a simple bungee cord holding the handle down so I can drive with the blade up, hands free. The front bolt attachment is in a 1 inch slot on the 2x4 beam. I've put grease in there now for waterproofing and it works well. Ok, let's try the final version, day and night. After all, I am the night flyer. Got my noise canceling earphones on, some good music playing, and a heated vest. Well, what more could I ask for? You know, if I can't fly outside or ride my motorcycles, this is a way for me to have some fun, get some exercise, and while working to clear the snow.
You know, if you've watched the video I made about the modifications on my Craftsman tractor, you know I made a weight transfer system to shift the CG from left to right for hills. Well, it weighs 40 pounds, so I didn't need to buy the wheel weights for the snow. Chains may be nice, but I didn't seem to need them here, and uh, it's, of course, not hard on my driveway either. Okay, here I'll turn on the blades and see how it blows some snow. Red does it again. Not bad, huh? For a white guy. <laughs> it was easy to remove the snow with my wet pack, and the blades in the deck are super clean from the dried on grass from the summer, too. An added bonus. I got a little snow on there. My weight traction system worked really good. Look at that. More snow just came, so let's go do some night snow plowing. Now you know why I added the spotlight. It was one of my modifications last summer. You see, it's the law here to keep your sidewalks clean so the mail can be delivered and medical personnel or something can get through. Sure a lot more fun than this. 